guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this look and how to create it. I actually did this look on my makeup Instagram account, which is always in the description below. This has become like probably my favorite look that I've created. I don't know if it's the fake eyelashes or just the overall look, how it turned out, but I did recreate it specifically for YouTube because I just loved it so much. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say besides let's just get started. So I've already done my eyebrows and so I'm gonna go on to primer, which I'm using the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. I really don't like this, but I'm trying to get my use out of it. So that's why I'm using it. Oh gosh. So I'm first priming my eyelids with the e.l.f. concealer. I love this concealer. I've been using it non-stop lately and it's like my favorite concealer I have right now. I'm setting my eyelids with a little bit of Laura Mercier powder. Okay, so the palette I'm going to be using is the ColourPop All I See Is Magic palette. And it is super pretty. I love the colors in here. And I really haven't created a look on my channel with this palette. So I'm first taking this like really light orangey shade, but I'm mean, using use it as a transition shade. I'm now going to take this purple shade called Teacup, and I'm just going to be putting it in my crease area. And I'm not going to put any on my outer corner because we're just going to leave that blank for the lid color. Also, I don't know if you guys can see since we're like so close. Um, this primer looks so bad, but it's okay as long as I'm getting my use out of it. Now, this purple shade is going to be my crease color. It's called Pitter Patter. And I'm just taking the same e.l.f. crease brush and this light purple shade that we used as a crease shade. And I'm going to be running it on my lower lash line so we can kind of pull the look together a little bit. Then I'm taking the Ofra Makeup Fixer. It was sent to me through Octoly, but I've been really loving it. So I'm gonna take the like green type of shade. I'm gonna take this shade and I think it's called Wishful Thinking. And I'm gonna spray my brush with that Ofra spray. It's super good for that because then you can get your colors very pigmented. I like using that spray for spraying my brushes rather than a setting spray just because I don't usually use setting sprays that much and usually if I have a setting spray I just use it to spray my brushes anyway so I really like it and it has a really fine mist on it so it like doesn't drench your brush you can get the right amount so I'm not taking the shimmer shade too hot I'm really just keeping it on my lid pretty much where the matte shades didn't touch I'm now going to take this light, like, highlighting shade, which is called Now and Zen, and I'm going to put it on my inner corner and brow bone. I really cannot explain to you how much I love ColourPop palettes. They are my favorite palettes ever, and if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a palette, ColourPop palettes are definitely the way to go. Also, since ColourPop is in Ulta now, that's amazing, so it's easier to get ColourPop in store now. It's great. My mirror just fell. I'm now just going to apply these eyelashes. They are from Wardell. I don't know what they're called, but they're just like the 110s, I guess. I don't know eyelashes very well, but I got them like at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And I really like them, but I'm going to do off camera. So I went ahead and curled my lashes with the fake ones to kind of blend them in a little bit better. So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara, literally 97 cents. So, moving on to face, I'm using the number seven City Light Tinted Moisturizer. This was sent to me through Octoly, and I've actually, like no joke, been actually really obsessed with this lately because I don't really like foundation. This is just like not like a foundation. It's super light coverage, and if you're not into that, you might not like it. But on days that I want to be more natural or kind of just even out my skin tone, I've been liking this a lot. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think they only have three shades, which really sucks. Then again, it is a tinted moisturizer, so it's not meant to have a lot of coverage or anything. But if you're wondering, I got the shade Fair, so I think that's the lightest shade, but again, don't quote me on that. And then I'm going to go back in with the Wet n Wild Concealer and pretty much just put it on places where I kind of just want to add more coverage. I'm now going to use the Laura Mercier powder, which I'm obsessed with. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Matte Bronzer, and it looks like 
this. I love this bronzer. Um, it's perfect for my skin tone and it just makes it look like my face has a nice tan, which it's winter time right now, so I don't have that. But with this, it looks like I do have tan. I'm also gonna use a kind of smaller brush and just kind of ever so slightly, like literally the softest nose contour you've ever seen. But I always do this because I just feel like it adds a little something something. And then I'm using the Tarte Blush Bazaar palette, which they really should sell still. This, every girl should have, honestly. Like it just has the most, like you could literally have this for so long and it has like pretty much every blush shade that you would ever want. So I'm really kind of bummed that I don't sell it anymore. But if you got your hands on it, girl, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna take this shade Skillful and it's right there. Literally Tarte blushes last so long. I've been using my mini size that I got for free from Sephora, like for my birthday. And there's like no dent in it and I've been using it nonstop. So, highlighter, I'm using the Aurora Glow Kit, and I'm going to take the shade Eclipse, which honestly, when you swatch it, it has like a kind of pink undertone, I don't really know, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of does have like a pinky, peachy undertone, which I think goes really good with the look. I'm not even gonna spray it or anything, and it still looks super duper good. And the very last step is lips. So I'm gonna be using this Kat Von D lipstick. It's in the shade Ludwig. Honestly, this shade, I didn't know how I felt about it at first when I first got it, but I've been loving it. It's like the perfect shade and it pretty much will go with so many looks that you create. And it's a great everyday color and I love the formula. The list goes on and on. I just love this liquid lipstick okay so this is the completed look i'm super happy with how it turned out if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow my makeup instagram account i want to try to start posting more on it and kind of have a theme so make sure to go follow that also i don't i haven't mentioned on here but i go live a lot on that instagram and a lot of times i will do my makeup literally 99 percent of the time i'll be doing my makeup so if you want to see more of me then make sure to go follow that Instagram. So yeah, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'll never try, bye, bye.